Okay, I want to show you how to create a blank email from Engage. So what you're going to do is go to Engage, Campaigns, click My Emails, Add from Library, and you're going to see that there's a couple templates. The one you're going to want is the blank eblast template. There's also one for a basic newsletter. I added those, so you'll see me add, which is going to turn green. It's going to bring it into the emails here where I can go in and edit it. Now, if you watch, up at the top, I'm going to give it a name. So in this case, it's going to be Merry Christmas because I'm going to send a Christmas email. So this is just an internal name that allows me to identify it in the system for when I want to use it. Next, you're going to click on Edit Setup. And this is going to bring you into where you can do your subject line. So you're going to click on subject, happy holidays. This preview text is where you can give it um, some text that's shown in the preview pane on a phone or an email when they have preview turned on. Next is your header, footer, and signature. I leave those turned on. That'll be your at the top, your personal business photo and uh, your contact information and the footer, the same thing. You can choose to turn those on or off. It's up to you. Click save when you're done. As you can see, you can turn them selectively on or off individually, whichever you want. I'm going to turn them all on. Clicking save to save all those settings. Now I'm actually going to go into the edit email and we've got a blank template. And now you take whatever you want to put on the email and you kind of move things around. So you see I put an image at the top and then drop the text at the bottom. I'm going to use an image from Ed Keefe. So Ed's got a little banner that he has. And I'm going to type in the message here, which will just be Merry Christmas. And, you know, I can continue to type more if I want. Make it a little bigger. I'm going to hit continue. And now I'm going to save it. Now, all I've done now is create the email. Now if I want to send it out, I actually have to assign it to eBlast. So an eBlast is going to allow me to go over and select the recipients. In this case, I'm going to click on... You have to actually create an e-blast, so I'm going to click Add an e-blast to the to the uh, to the system. And now, when I go in there, I have to actually set up the e-blast. So an e-blast is basically a campaign. So now I'm going to go in, and as you'll see here, it's going to allow me to choose the recipients. I'm going to give it the name. So it's going to be Christmas or Happy Holidays so that I can identify it later when I come back to the system. So in this case now, I can go in and start to choose the recipients. So you'll see me click on Setup. Now it will go into Engage, the CRM, and you'll see I can choose Groups. So if I have Groups set up, I can select which groups I want it to go to. Up at the top, you're going to see all current contacts. If you wanted it to go to your entire database, you could click on that and off it would go to the entire database. In my case, I'm going to go back to people and I'm just going to look for all mics. Okay, you'll see me select a couple mics. So Mike DiMaria, Mike Wood and myself, Mike Mahoney. I'm going to click Add, and you'll see now that three recipients showed up, but I'm not going to send it to Mike Wood or Mike DiMaria. So I'm going to click Save. Now that we have a recipient, we have to actually assign the email that's going to go as this blast. So that's when it was important to see that in the dropdown I had the Christmas. Now to verify that it's the actual right email, you click View. Now you hit Save. And one thing you have to see here is up at the top, a button's going to turn blue, which is send campaign. 
you're going to wait a second. You see me hovering on the finish later. But if you just wait a second, once it processes, now see it turn blue. Now I can hit send campaign. You don't have to hit finish later. Just patience. And that's pretty much going to send it. And in one second, I'm going to jump over to my email. And I'm going to show you that I actually did receive it. So there it is in my email. And that black stuff is the header. If you just wanted to take that off, you could have unchecked that and the header would have come off and then that would have slid the banner image, Ed's little banner up instead. Now what I wanna show you is if you like the one that you sent for Christmas and now you wanna use it for New Year's, you can use it as a basis for the next holiday or the next email. So you'll click on the three dots to the right and select duplicate. And that's going to create a duplicate of the email that was sent. Now you can go in and you're going to give it a new name so that it's recognizable in the system for you. So in my case, I'm going to say Happy New Year because that'll be the next holiday. Then you're going to change the subject line to Happy New Year. And again, preview text, if they have preview turned on on their phone or their email, that's visible to them. Now we're going to edit the content and instead of Christmas I'm going to type my New Year's message. And I'm going to hit continue and save and now we've got this second email that says Happy New Year. Now we've created the email as you can see I'm going to preview it here. We have to now assign it to the eblast in order to get it out to recipients. So we're going to go up to I'm just cleaning up so you can see. I'm going to delete some stuff here just so that it's not confusing. You have to go to add from library and you're going to choose basic template for eblast go to the right click add campaign you're going to watch it turn green and it's going to tell you that it's in the awaiting setup section so now it'll populate down below and again you're going to go through and give it a name just so you can see it and track it happy new year 2023 save now you're going to hit recipients this is going to bring you into the database portion and again I'm just going to choose myself but I showed you before how you could go in and if you wanted to send it to all contacts you could click that and you'd hit add down there where it's blue once you get the recipients selected but going back I'm just going to send it to myself so we're going to click on people type the word Mike that's going to bring me to all the people in the database that are mics. And we're going to hit save on the recipients. Now I have to change the eblast. So I'm going to choose the Happy New Year email. We're going to preview it just to make sure it's what I want. There it is right there. Hit save. Now again, once it saves, you have to be patient because you're waiting for this send campaign to come lit up so that you can actually execute that as an option. But it takes a second. Don't get frustrated. Okay, now it's ready to go. Now you'll hit send and we'll give it a second and then we'll jump over to my email And now there it is in my email ready to go. So that's pretty much Moxie engaged emails and eblast in a nutshell.